All right, well, I guess we'll get started. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Guys, congratulations on a big win. Um, Come on up, Hayden. Um, guys, would you mind introducing yourselves and then Coach Ferguson with an opening statement? Uh, I'm Hayden Nelson. Nolan Youngman. Justin Tateson. Nolan Kaiser. Woo! Derek Perry. Woo! Jared Larson. Woo! Trevor Campbell. Woo! Sean Cahill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll just talk real quickly about the game. Obviously, it was exciting, and um, you know, just kind of real quick, I thought the game was a, it was a tough game to kind of keep some flow to it. Um, lots of penalties, power plays on both sides, and you know, trying to kind of keep a flow to those types of games sometimes can be challenging. And um, I thought going into this third period, you know, we had the power play goal that uh, we gave up there, one nothing, and um, I don't think we felt like we were at our at our best going in there but we were one shot away from uh, getting things going and we just you know we talked in the coaches room there we just need something to spark the fire a little bit and obviously the shorthanded goal great effort by Garrick and Tyler finishing it there and kind of got us going and then I think it kind of got a little bit of flow to our game um, and then we just kept pushing and uh, exchanged a few chances there Sean came up big when we needed him to and um, obviously uh, finishing it off with the the empty net goal we didn't uh, that's one thing we talked about over the last little bit am I talking too long okay. <laughs> and uh, we, we uh, get that a little bit. And uh, we uh, talked about that, just kind of keeping our composure in, in, in those situations. And I thought we did an excellent job. So great job by the guys, great job by the team, great job by the fans. That was a, a great, uh, great energy in the building there, especially in the third when we got some things going. So um, I think that's all I have. Thanks, Coach. Sean, coming into your final home game here, and you get a, a, a big win, uh, shutting down the number one team, holding holding the one goal, a team that's averaged over four goals a game, or almost four goals a game the entire season. What, what were you seeing out there as they started crowding the, crowd the net and facing that adversity? Uh, I thought we did really good, uh, not giving them much. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Uh, 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 Garrick, uh, uh, could you uh, just uh, take me uh, through uh, that game winner there? Well, uh, wasn't much to say. I mean, there's uh, there was a guy in the corner, just passed it up to Trevor, and Trevor went D to D with it, and Fry was patient with it, and uh, got it around the guy's line there, and I just had my stick there, and that's what coach has been talking about, just making sure we get that first shot through, and that's pretty much what happened. Well, first off, congratulations, guys. Um, hey, Taysen, I saw you a little emotional coming off the ice. Can you maybe put into words what you know this night means for you and the rest of the senior class? Um... It's been, uh, it's been awesome to play here and uh, be a part of this group. And uh, just playing my last game here is uh, really important to me. And um, <clears throat> sorry, guys, it's just just a lot of memories have come back over the course of being here. And um, it's been a. Uh, uh, honestly, the best time of my life, and uh, I'm sorry it has to come to an end. And uh, for all those guys that are standing over here, like that's why I play. That's why um, I'm so proud this group is going to go good places in the future. And uh, I'm just so proud of this group getting a win tonight. And uh, it just seems like nothing phases this class. And uh, it just means a lot for me to be able to play here, my last game here, and, and uh, really means a lot to uh, to me. And 
just a long road to get here and a lot of a lot of hours working out and uh, all, all those memories come back right now and it just means a lot to me. All seven of you are fortunate enough to have all of your families here in attendance tonight. Will each of you kind of just say something to your parents and, and their, talk about their support through your college career? <laughs> yeah, my parents are here. I'm, I've been fortunate enough to come home and play and six hours away. And uh, yeah, have supported me growing up. And my dad and mom worked hard, get me to practice, and always motivated me to be a better person on and off the ice. So really can't thank them enough. I love you, mom and dad. Yeah, just thanks for coming up for this weekend. It makes it uh, extra special, and thanks for getting me started with hockey. And yeah. Uh, my mom, dad, and sister stand over here. Um. Long trip from Calgary, and uh, my sister's coming from the University of Lethbridge to come up and visit me on uh, her reading week, and she'll be here all week next week. So it means a lot that they're all here and uh, share this special moment with us. Yeah, um, my dad's up, my mom's up, my grandma's up. Um, <laughs> It, uh, it means a lot. Um, my grandma went to every junior uh, game that she could, and uh, my, uh, my grandfather passed away this year uh, that, uh, during the blue-gold game, and so for her to come up and see my last games at home, it uh, means a lot. And uh, having my dad up every, every home game, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys are sick of seeing him, but you know, I, it means it means a lot for me, and uh, I, uh, I I couldn't be more thankful. My mom's here. She, you know, she's there at every road game and everything. And you know, they've uh, when I was younger, they would always push me into hockey, and uh, I'm glad that they did. And uh, it, yeah, it just it means a lot that they're all here. Thank you. My mom and dad are also here as well. Um, I want to thank them for all the times they've, uh, you know, got up early and brought me to the rink, as well as, um, you know, paying for all the equipment and stuff like that, the travel. Um, obviously, uh, mom and dads mean everything to all of us, and I just want to thank my mom and dad for, um, for everything in the past 25 years now. Thank you. Um, my mom and dad are here too. Uh, I actually don't see them. <laughs> there they are. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I just can't thank them enough. Um, my dad grew up in Arkansas and he's never skated before, but he's always supported me uh, every day. And uh, they, they'll do anything for me and I can't, can't thank them enough. Um, my uh, soon-to-be mother-in-law and uh, Stepdad are here too, and they've been supporting me uh, all my all my career. So, uh, want, just wanted to thank them too for being here. It's it uh, means a lot. Thanks, Olivia. Too, you yeah. didn't mention you, so thanks, Olivia. <laughs> Maybe Lars's fiance, Jackie, too. Oh yeah, hey Jack. Um, my mom and dad are here. Uh, they're standing in the middle. Uh, they made the trip from Calgary. Um, for most of the time up here, they lived uh, overseas. Um, so kind of a 12-hour time difference. But no matter what, they always made sure to watch the games. Uh, so that's starting at about 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning for them. But they always got up and watched. Um, and all the same stuff the guys said, early morning practices, all the money that they put out and the time they put into me. Um, to get here, um, and also my uncle made the trip up, uh, Mike, I don't know, Mike right there. Um, <laughs> Mike's a big Nanox fan, he's been following me uh, the whole time up here, so I'm glad you got to come up for this too, thanks guys. And 
Garrick won the final Elemento. There's your final game winner on the home ice right there. You skipped someone. Oh, I hate my apologies. <laughs> Um, my family's also in the stands, or here, my mom's right in front, and just like to thank them throughout my, I guess, college career at UAF. It's been a long four years, and I don't know what else to say. Thank you. <laughs> uh, coach, and I guess any of the seniors that want to comment, um, as great and, and as emotional as this night is, it's not over. Still, still got some uh, four games left. Um, I know uh, without the postseason play, is it good to have this kind of consolation, a chance to win another Gov Cup on the horizon? Nice. Got the call here. Got the nod. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, definitely. We're going to have to take this momentum into Alabama after our week off. Um, I, see, I feel like we play up to any team's level, and sometimes maybe we play down to other teams' level. But we uh, we definitely got to come out with the same game that we played this weekend and uh, and then heading into Anchorage for the Gov Cup. It's, it'll be, uh, yeah, we're already down two games, so we're going to have to really uh, dig ourselves out of the grave and uh, put up a good solid effort and I'm very confident that we can do that. Coach, is there anything you want to say to the seven guys sitting sitting on each side of you there? Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, to quite honestly, I think Corb summed it up when he when he spoke to the team before the game as his pregame speech. and just talked about, um, I think all seven of them <clears throat> have a little bit of a, a different path to get to this table tonight. And I think it speaks a lot to them. I think you can get that sincerity out of them, the type of people they are um, when they speak right here. It's emotional because their experience has been here. They've been bought in, um, and they're fully committed to being an Anuk. And I think that's, you know, what, I mean, you can just see it. And I think that's... That's the special thing about um, the group that we have. Starts with these guys, and Corbin talked about it before the uh, game. You know, we've been kind of given a, a crappy hand here in November, and um, these guys were probably given the worst hand. You know, because this is their last kick at it. But they found a way to be good leaders and bring bring the right attitude and the right focus. And you know, character's big with our group and having the right people. And, and it starts with these guys because they were, you know, the ones impacted. I mean, our whole group was. But um, we're very thankful. And you know, I'm kind of on Joe's line here. We got four more games yet. You know, so we want to go out and and finish it the right way. And I think obviously this was a big win for us. It was a big weekend for us. And it's the last homestead. Uh, at home stand um, but I really want to win the Governor's Cup and so do these guys so uh, we're going to feel good about this one we want to enjoy ourselves um, it's a special night uh, you finish on, on a high like that but we got some hockey left to play and uh, we need to put another plaque on that Governor's Cup with that blue color on it so that's what we're going to focus in on for this group. I'd, uh, I'd just like to uh, say thanks uh, on behalf of me and all the seniors to you fans. It's It's been unbelievable having you guys supporting us these four years. And it's, I mean, you guys have made it uh, like a second home to us. I mean, the cheering and all the kids coming out and giving us high fives, it's, it's, it's meant a lot to us. And you guys are here through ups and downs and it's, it's amazing. And I'd like to just say thank you to you guys. And I'm sure everyone around us, uh, everyone here in the crowd, all the fans, all the kids would like to say thanks to you guys as well. Four years is of, of college, not just you being a student, but also coming out and giving your best on the ice. Uh, from all of us, thank you very much. <laughs> Any final words? Yeah, I'll just uh, kind of repeat what Garrick said. I think, uh, you know, it's a special place to play college hockey. Fairbanks is a, is a great place. It's off the beaten path, but you can see the passion for hockey and for this hockey program. And that's all part of the experience here. That's what we sell. That's why you come here. So thank you for that. Thanks for your support this year. And uh, thanks to the, the seniors and the rest of the squad here. And on behalf of us, just thank you. We appreciate it. And we'll keep going here. Thank you.